That should be good. The sun is rising and I have filled this basket with poison and medicine flowers. The bright morning is replacing the dark night. Nature brings life and death to everything. Plants are born into the earth and they die there too. Nature gives life to every interesting being and life and provides all nourishment needed. Everything has a chance to turn bad if, if it is abused. Virtue turns to vice if it is misused. Vice sometimes becomes virtue if through the right activity. In this basket I hold, there is both poison and medicine flowers. If you smell the plant, it makes you feel amazing. But if you dare eat it, you will perish. Good morning, Friar. Good Lord, my boy. Why are you greeting me this early in the morning? Why are you sitting up coming to my castle this early? An old man worries his night away and never sleeps. But a young man like you should not have a care in the world. You being up this early tells me that you are dealing with anxiety. Either that or you have not been to bed at all. You're right, Friar. I didn't get much sleep last night. Good Lord, have you sinned? And were you with Rosaline? With Rosaline? No. I've forgotten about her and everything she has brought to me. Good, my boy. But where have you been then? A girl from the Cabinet family has won me over. She has shot me with a bow and wounded me with her affection. Only you can fix me now. You can heal both of us. You are making no sense, son. You give me a confusing question and you will receive a confusing answer. I ask you now to ask again. I love the Capulet's daughter and she loves me too. Only you can marry us. Are you serious? What could cause this drastic change, Romeo? Have you given up so quickly on Rosaline? I thought you loved her. Young men like you these days only love with their eyes, never listen to their hearts. Every tear you cried for Rosaline just to give up now, every time you were sad it was for her. How can you expect any woman to be faithful when men are so unreliable? But you told me to hate Rosaline. Juliet loves me. How is this any different? I got mad because you were obsessed with her, not because you loved her. But you told me to hate her. I did not tell you to replace your love. Please, do me this favor. She loves me and returns my love. Rosaline ignored me. Rosaline knew you were just acting in love, not truly knowing what it means. Come with me though, young Romeo. I will help you get married to Juliet. If if we are lucky, this marriage will turn your family's hate into love. Yes, this will heal our families. Thank you, sir. Go slowly, Romeo. Those who go too fast always fall. Romeo could not believe that just happened. He was ecstatic that Friar Lawrence had said yes to him and Juliet being married. He would do everything for her anything that she needed. He was going to go buy a ring for her. He needed to be her lover and be everything she needed. This was the greatest moment of Romeo's life. rising and I have filled this basket with poison and medicine flowers. The sun is a bright sun is replacing the dark night. Nature gives life to everything, good and evil. It gives birth to all things and gives it all the nourishment it needs. Everything is born onto the earth and dies through it too. <laughs> Good Lord, my boy, why are you greeting me so early in this morning? Why are you sitting up this early in the morning and greeting me? An old man worries his, his night away so he doesn't get sleep. But a young man like you should not have a care in this world. This is telling me that you are either 
dealing with anxiety or you have not been to bed at all. You're right, Friar. I didn't get much sleep last night. Have you sinned? And were you with Rosaline? With Rosaline? No. <laughs> You're doing so good.